karibuni kwa KTN Ladies Night every Wednesday kutoka 7:30 hadi 9:30 ni mimi Laura Mbatha nitakuwa na nyinyi for these next two hours and of course kila wiki tunawaletega amazing guests and today in specific for this segment tunataka kuongea women and finances and of course tumaletea expert kwa hii field una prefer kuitwa expert ama it's just suggestions unapatia watu <laughs> and <laughs> before you introduce yourself sasa so watch me introduce Lea Karimi she's an author and she's also Maybe you can give them a better introduction about yourself. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I'm Andalta. I've written uh, two books. I'm writing the third one. So Okay. So this is the second is called Be Free and Rich. Uh so I also do mentorship. I do talks and media interviews like this one. All right. Karibu sana kitchen ladies. How do you feel to be here today? Um I'm excited. I'm excited to reach even more people. Same. I I, I I'm also very excited to learn how to keep my money in my pocket sure. because it keeps flying out. Sure. I think ni metoboka kamfuko but maybe you'll give me a bit more advice. Yes. So what what do you do exactly besides like when it comes to talking to women about finance? Okay when it comes to finances really we don't have genders but uh, when it comes to women you know we uh, we love to nurture you know everything that's what i normally say because we are you know we <laughs> we have children we have the family and everything so we kind of tend to forget about our money mm. we push it to the uh, financial consultants mm. it's the last thing to think about mm. so we tend to rate other people run our money mm. where we should be the ones doing it mm. and so here i got myself uh, because i'm a woman i make the same mistakes so whatever i'm teaching is not just out of outside the box it's everything that everybody should be doing mm. and as i made those mistakes i thought other women are doing it mm. and so i came out and wrote mm. books and i'm surprised how many people are relating to the same topics that i'm covering which are very practical and day to day mm. topics yes so in in like the una working one on one now at wama yes yes i do mm. that uh, i wrote my first book in 2008 before then i was a freelance writer so when my book was out uh, people would buy them from the book stores and everywhere at that time i didn't know the potential of being mm. another uh, having the books out is just a product that i have in the market and so uh, wha- how i became a mentor is because people would contact me and they say i've read your book Uh, you covered so many topics because finance is a wide topic and I try to give them in bits you know like uh, small small so when I was writing this book I was thinking in terms of past someone who's who will not meet me so how can it be like a manual for someone to work with so I started with like you yourself and because myself I use it at times because it there's different seasons but you think on a marking scheme kwa kichwa so yes I do <laughs> but <laughs> you know we, d- we have different seasons yeah? yeah so we have seasons where you're doing okay your business is running okay and you have all the finances something happens you back to zero you have to mm. start over actually one of my favorite topics is starting over mm. and when you're starting over sometimes like our economy now there's so many people starting over from a place of bankruptcy mm. others from you know a loss grief others from anywhere mm. so the topics i've covered i've covered from uh, you yourself part one is about you your housekeeping that's mm. what i call it finance and housekeeping where we've covered things like budgeting we've covered about the mindset because mm. i believe everything is in your mind mm. what you're feeling it the company you're keeping and all those things and then we've covered things like if you find you on the negative after you've done the budgeting you know and you can lie to yourself mm-hmm. i say just do the budgeting you know your expenses your income because you have some people who have a lot of ex- expenses mm. they have no income so when <laughs> the money coming so don't lie to yourself and when you find in the negative you know you have so much going on credit cards tala <laughs> all those things name them yeah how do you make more money mm. because you must come out of it and what i normally suggest is that you have to do it yourself mm. nobody else you remove all of those options you're mm. a woman yes you're married yes you could be you know having uh, wealthy parents or whatever mm. remove all those options because when you have those options you tend not to work hard mm. so remove all of them assume it's just me and this negative that i'm seeing here mm. so how do i move from here now that's when now we go to part two Mm. I teach you now how you can uh you might be So so yeah. like mimi when you need to do say this because yes. I think I'm a victim of this. Okay. Na kujua kwako I tell you this is how much money I have and yes. this is how I, I want to spend it. Ama okay. na kwambia shida yangu specifically then una deal nayo hivyo ama it's a general problem that you fix. Ama uh. ni You know there's there's no there's no cut fit off. Mm. So when you read the book because the book is just standard mm. like what everybody should know when it comes to money mm-hmm. and as I put it in small small bits that everybody can understand you know. So when you read the book now you know what else you must mm. because some people are very good in budgeting but they don't have 
uh, the money. Mm. Others have the money, but he just keeps, you know, there's mm. no there's nothing like a lot of money or less money. Yeah. It's just about you and what you know. Because mm. you can't act more than you know, you know. That is why financial literacy is very, very important in our current generation. Because especially when it comes to the women, the economy and everything ev- all over the world, is the life is changing. Mm. And the woman seems to be taking over a lot of responsibilities in the family, in the society and everywhere. She's mm. uh, inheriting, actually from... What I wrote here, if you read my story, is from the background and most of the things I learned growing up. Mm. Because I, my dad passed on when I was very young and my mom took over the family and it's a polygamous family. So I learned about the word will when I was in class three. I had the word will and they had to, to uh, divide the properties mm. and everything. And I saw a lot of things, you know, life changed overnight. Mm. You have things, now you don't have. You know, the vision died that they were working with. So those are some of the things that I'm laying here. But then I'm, I'm wondering someone who is seated, a lady who, ha- who wants to start. If I do start, that's why I have part one. Then I have part two now, and it gets more advanced. Mm. So part two now, you have to work with your passions because mm. you have to make more money. Yes. Remember, you found your ne- in the negative. Mm. Most people are operating on the negative, by the way, mm-hmm. <laughs> because they are either on pay slip or they've inherited the money mm. or how many people win the lottery? Very few. Yeah. So we are <laughs> operating from the pay slip. Uh, that's where most of us start. Mm. And then now you run how to get out of that race. Mm. Because it's a rat race. Mm. How do you get out of it? Mm. So there are some people who work with entrepreneurship. And entrepreneurship is not for everyone. Because mm. it takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of work to work. It takes a lot of years. I've been here. I'm not a billionaire. Yet, but I'm heading there. Mm. It takes a lot of work, you know, mm. and persistent and the discipline. Some people uh, prefer pay slip. And now with the pay slip, I mean, I mean, I prefer pay slip. And the p- with the pay slip, you have power mm. because they find some people who have a very good credit rating and ask them why you're not taking the loans. They're mm. scared. So those are s- that's why these books are there. I, I so, that so that you mm. can come out of that, you know, mm. fear yeah. and do something because if you don't accumulate assets, now here this is passive income. Mm. Pay slip is passive income. I mean, yeah. pay slip is active income. Mm. But we want you to have passive income. Mm. That is what you're working with. That's why the assets come in. Mm. And that's why the part two comes in. So we work with what, uh, we have different assets now. Uh, we have the real estate, we have the paper portfolio, which I cover things like, uh, you know, stocks. And now those I also partner with other uh, experts. I don't just do everything by myself. I come with mm. even with accountants. I come with, I take you around what is available, the stocks where you can start, you know, because you need to diversify. You can just say, do. Uh, mm. the number one is real estate. And mm. everybody wants to buy that plot. But sometimes the plot becomes a liability. Mm. So you must really, you know, have a roadmap, yeah. which most of this knowledge creates. So the mm. real estate, then we have the business. Mm. Business is an asset. So b- exactly when you know my business. So like yes. for a young lady like yes. me, Unajra, mm. uh, my pay slip maybe is enough, but Nangalia, maybe yeah. in future, because yeah. you know it's never a guarantee. It's true. In future, there's like Aji, a few extra coins. Yes. So Una suggest Aji, to like in your business it a suit. You know, like you yeah. when you must say what one go for yeah. on your business. So on a determine a journey ni nini na suit nani. Okay. You see I started business at the age of twenty one. Mm. And the reason I went into business, I thought I would combine education. I was doing I was doing higher learning, you know, uh, I joined Desta and I thought I would do evening classes and still do business. But business mm. p- took over. Mm. Because as I said it's very hard you hear you put uh, your money and you have to, m- you know, the things, the business now started coming to your desk. Mm. And I thought it's very posh. I'll just sit behind my desk and the clients will come. And before that, I was in another kind of an apprentice uh, position where I had gotten some clients. Mm-hmm. So I thought, ah, see, I have the clients yeah. and I have the ideas and the money. I had to look for the money, mm. capital. Part of it actually <laughs> was, you know, part of my school fees and I approached some family friends. So, so you school fees? No, no, I didn't kula. Oh, I put it. In, invest. I invested it. Mm. And actually I thought I would do evening classes and this business will make a lot of money that I will pay my school fees and everything. So mm. I fell with <laughs> a bang. And mm. now those are some of the lessons that made me become mm. a writer because I was wondering, I'm this so young. So when you were going to decide to your entrepreneurship, yes, yes. Uli, wa, uli, uli use for instance, yes. a, ni, nini exactly you decide this is yes. what you tafanya ukuza nyanya pasi. Okay. But kuna mtu labda hiyo ndio ni share yake you yes. know. Yes. Mimi maybe na uza nguo ama chakula. Yes. How did you determine this is what is for me? Okay. When I came to Nairobi, I came uh, you know I did diploma 
up to uh, advanced, I mean, uh, business administration, up to diploma level. Uh, so I came to Nairobi to just hold on to a job. Mm. Then I joined Dista. As I said, my dad passed on when I was very young, and with my mom could not afford me to go directly to the university. Mm. And there's so many people who are in this position like mm. that. You know, they can't go directly to mm. the university because, it's, and you didn't make it to the, you know, to the, <laughs> to the, you didn't have those A's to mm. be, you know. So. I was in a in a in an unfortunate position, mm -hmm. but as a fighter, I decided I'm not going to just sit. And my mom didn't want me at the countryside mm -hmm. because when you're idle, you know what happens yeah. next. You start having boyfriends, you start having kids. So she didn't want me at home. So she said, uh, "Because you've done fat nutrition in church, mm -hmm. why don't you take a position?" And that's when I took a position. I call it apprentice because my boss was busy elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So with an, another business and this one i used to make over a hundred thousand and my salary was about eight thousand oh. so most of the clients because they f used to find me mm. used to sell things like healthy products you know supplements and everything so i learned on the job oh. how to do it and we would make so much money and i asked her please add some salary because now i even got a bed sitter which was actually going for six thousand and my salary is that amount so i would tell mm -hmm. my mom please add another four thousand so that i can survive so i'm looking at someone who is mm. that age you know, that 21 years or 19 years where I was, mm. even as I'm advising them, I'm looking at them. And most mm. of them, when they come to me, they think they have options. Mm. Actually, they say, yeah, but I'm 21. Uh, you are not, I'm 25. They actually say, I'm 25. I tell them, you're, you're not young. I say, business at the age of 21. I started it. I didn't have any options. My mom could not sustain all I of know. us, mm. you know, and all back into a corner. But some of them are very comfortable because they are staying at home, mm -hmm. they are provided, in fact, they have expensive phones, some of them, so I I even mine, and all that. Before Fike. And even when they have the mm. job, they're choosing, you know, they want mm. to start up there. How? You know, so you start down, it's not just about the money you're mm. getting, but you're also getting experience. Mm. And it's from that experience that I learned, if I'm making this 100,000 for this lady, mm. I think I can open my own place and keep the money yeah, but someone no, no, like when you yes. mentioned like yes. they feel very comfortable yes. so in in essence they're staying away from investing any of the money yes but you're gonna disposable income so twenty thousand. yes, 000. yes. so i feel why is it that how attack you can invest your your pesa qua business i mean yes. you know they have it yes. it's disposable yes. so, actually, wake up. so why do they stay away from investment opportunities okay. i think uh, financial literacy is really missing out here because it makes you have some courage to mm. be able to come out and invest. Mm. So, and you know, uh, as I said, entrepreneurship is not for everyone mm. because it takes a lot of courage to come out and take, it's a risk actually, because it's, you know, the money is 20,000, you can see it. But mm. once you put it, it's like you're putting it in a pot and you're expecting some profits. But one thing I say is that start earning, start working for profits, mm -hmm. you know, because it's passive income. Yeah, start working, you don't have a ceiling. Because when you're working for somebody, you must ask yourself, okay, for how long am I going to mm. work for someone, you know? And even if you're working for someone, because I don't know, I don't even think everybody can become an entrepreneur because mm. of what it takes. Because I'm in it. I know what it takes. So how can you operate with the amount you're getting? And mm. that is why I say you still have to come back and gain knowledge and even consult if you don't love reading. Mm. Uh, consult and know what options are there. And I talked about real estate, I talked about stocks, Business. I talked about uh, insurance companies mm. who have all these things, pension schemes, you know, mm -hmm. and make money. And now when you're, making, when you're going that way, when you're going to the insurance, when you're going everywhere, mm -hmm. you will earn, because you're taking uh, very, you know, small risks, so the amount of money you'll get is also small. Mm. You know, entrepreneurship is big risk. Yes. So it's also big money. Mm. Because and they ask me, because I, I even get some of my cousins like now with this economy who've lost a job and they've come to me and I've told them, why don't you even go to somewhere like Ikomba? Mm. I own those clothes because some of us are very busy and sell to us. And mm. then they find, because I know day one, they'll go there. They'll be, you know, there's day one. And I was in that day one. Then day two, then day three, they're learning. And so someone cannot just sit and say, I don't have anything to do. Mm. I don't believe in that. Mm -hmm. The other thing, uh, financial literacy is termed, is actually summed up by something called uh, leverage, the principle of leverage. Mm -hmm. And many people, they don't know the power they hold in their hands when they're holding phones. And they have smartphones. And the youth today are smart. I'll tell you with this book, I'm selling it globally. And how am I doing it? I'm sub up, uh, about to start doing forums. Mm. And I'm a risk taker. I will even do forums in New York. 
I, <laughs> I'm just telling you. So someone can sell clothes. You don't even have to move from where you are. Mm. You have a smartphone. There's so many options. Now, the, when I'm mentoring people, I give a list of the businesses you can start with. Mm-hmm. I have a list of where you can start with like 2,000 to 3 million. Mm. So they have something to work with and what to choose. And even when you walk around and look around, there's so many things you can yes. do. So I don't believe uh, the youth of today are mm. disadvantaged. Uh, sorry, they, they are more advantaged mm. because they have technology and it's a very strong tool. Yeah. Yes. But when you may mention, like, you know, I mean, like, combat, it's not the first one. Yes. There's like 10 before him, yes, yes. millions before yes. him. Yes. And for some reason, it will yeah. fail. Yeah. But for someone specific in our work, there's someone else I'm investing in food business, so I'm finding yeah, several yes. it has failed. Yes. What are the common mistakes in your sema even if it is a different kind of business, yeah. Yeah. that these typical mistakes that people do yeah. when you are working venture into entrepreneurship yeah. that you can advise against? Okay. Number one, you have to which actually made me lose is discipline. Because mm. at that age you're starting. Mm. So you are not uh, prioritizing well. First of all, you keep the same company you used to keep. Mm. So Friday, let's go out. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. Your priorities have to be with the business. Mm. Because the more you prioritize, it, it will just, the way you're treating it, mm-hmm. is the way the pocket will treat you. Yeah. You know, like today, you're supposed to be at work. You're not there. Mm-hmm. Those are some of the things that made you fail. So number one mm-hmm. is discipline. Secondly, you have to look at your finances. You mm-hmm. know, you have to work with the accountants. You have to work with everyone, not to fall mm-hmm. back on payments. Because mm-hmm. if you've invested that 20000 you have to look. Am I mm-hmm. make, making profits or am I making losses? You know? So you have to work with that. And then the other thing, you have to change your lifestyle. Mm. You have to start targeting. Like now, the people have advised to go to the by child them. Now you have to look for these clients. Because they're not going to meet you. Mm. And these clothes you've, you've brought today, they have to go. Mm. I'm just giving as an example. Even myself, I'm an entrepreneur. Because these books, I do bulk printing. Mm. I do like 2,000. And they have to go. When I wake up in the morning, they're looking at me. And you know, our reading culture in Africa is poor. Yes. So, and I cannot say someone failed. That's why now the entrepreneurship becomes mm. hard. When you start comparing yourself. And I normally say, mm. when you start comparing yourself, you go nowhere because you don't know why someone else failed. You mm. just try. Try and start small and keep going. You never know where mm. you might go. And then we have God. People don't know the power, you know. Every day you wake up, there's something that... He has done for you. It's true. Yes. And so far, he's doing great and big he things for done. you. He has done. He has done. And I started from, you know, I started from zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I just keep going. I just keep going. And the same lessons I'm learning, I'm just putting them, you mm. know, and also lift others. Lift yeah. others and keep sharing. Exactly. By lifting yeah. others, what advice would you give women investors, especially size when you have economic crisis? Yes. yes. Kuna zile business owners are saying, not sure uh, there's nothing really foolproof, but kuna ile enye. Okay, then again, Pia, if 10,000 people are doing it, yes. it doesn't give the mm. same output. But ni kuna biashara zenyu neza suggest kwa watu wambia, if it's small scale, this yeah. is what you should go for. If you're going big, yeah. indo yenyu naendea, especially for women. Una uh, advice, what, uh, when it comes to investment? Women, especially, I normally <laughs> tell them to think, they have to think big. And we are, we are now, you know, t- transforming everywhere, even mm. at homes and everywhere. And you have to start early. I tell them. So when I, s- I meet a 21 year old, I actually ask her, what are you doing? You know, start thinking outside the box because I know if you make the mistakes right now, by the time you're 25, you are somewhere. When you're 30, you're somewhere. When you're 40, you're actually talking now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. W- you're, you're actually talking now something else. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, the women, if they started. You know, 21, it's very good. Yeah. So uh, The earlier, the better. The, the earlier, the better. And they mm. make those, uh, you know, the so you v- fall. Exactly when you're Mese Mayani, yes. you start small. Yes. So if you start earlier, yeah. small, you yes. have room for growth. Yes. And uh, yeah. th- the other thing you asked about the business they can go into, mm. I work mostly with the passion. Mm. Yeah, I tell them, please, look what you like doing. And even if you don't know, can you ask around? Because there's some, like there's one lady I met who was saying, I'm a lab technician and I don't have this job. Every time I go there, I don't like. Oh, so what do you like doing? I love cooking chapatis. And I'm like, oh, why haven't you been cooking chapatis? Because Uchumi are selling one chapati at that table. Mm. Or even 40 bob, maybe now. 
and some people are very you know they don't can make those picture parties mm. and have you even considered the people around you have mm-hmm. you considered having a page on facebook mm. have you considered you know there's so many options that she can't see i don't know whether she you know your, I mean friend, your friend has a party from there. that distribute chapati even even the yeah. neighbors mm. just ask them start mm. small start mm. from where you are but you know because it's not a white collar job mm. you're like no you know no 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 you know mm. we have to get out we have to purpose to make this money because nobody will help you as i keep saying and some people they are very comfortable the women because mm. the man is paying the bills yeah he's paid the rent he's making more money oh i have i don't know who so remove those options mm. yeah work with yourself mm. i don't have anything what is my income and i'm telling you it is very gratifying when you have that money and you made it yourself mm. again also you have children who are coming yeah you have a family you're planning to my dad passed on when i was in class 3 i saw my mom being a single mother single handedly taking over so it can happen to us too you have children you're growing just remove those options mm. because the options are what is making people not yes. taking the risks mm. and if you don't have the options ask yourself so how do i survive how do i eat today mm. how do i eat because if you don't have if food yeah. you will get out mm. yeah so it's just the options are keeping people in the box but otherwise there's so many ideas mm. there's so many things people can do and i'm saying we are all very advantaged because we have technology and everybody have a smartphone on their hand mm. and the global market is open right yes. now so those are the things i'm talking about mm. and uh, i'm very passionate about the women because mm. we are the one who hold the family together men are the future they are the future mm. and we are the one who even mentor our children yeah when we have them mm. and so mm. many other things mm. so if we can make it in the family mm. the family is held together then the man be a bonus yes so if he's making more money then you move faster Yes. And uh, maybe <laughs> so, so, like someone I'm on and they look they, they need more information. Where yes. can they get your book? Where can they reach out to you for yes. Zako easy talks, easy yes. motivational speeches and atambio na fanya. Wana talk skia mo. Where can they find you and how can they get your book? Okay. So, uh I'm Lea Karimi and I'm all over social media. Um I have my page Lea Karimi Odain Mentor. I am on Twitter as Lea Karimi. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram. I'm everywhere and I'm one of you. I started from zero. So when someone says I don't have options, I don't know what you mm. mean. You know? <laughs> you come out and you do something, yeah? And uh you grow, you know? Before before I was talking, I was not talking investment. I was just talking finance. Mm. Uh, right now as I'm digging deeper, and this book is also taught me a lot of things. Mm. Actually, the company I'm setting up now, it's big. Mm. It's big. And why am, am I talking like that? Because those are value additions. Because yes. since we were eight people have been buying my book. So I have another network called Global Air Network Initiative mm. where I'm adding people and now we are talking about shareholding and what we can do together. Mm. If s- if you have a thousand people put in 10,000, do you know how much money is that? Yes. So I'm talking about big business, but you have to start small. Mm. You have to start small. You have to make the network. The good thing with entrepreneurship is one that everybody who buys this book, I have their numbers. Yeah? I have I'm selling it myself. It's not the first one was in the bookstores and everything, but this one I'm selling it myself because I want to mentor them. I want to mentor them start from zero and everywhere. So this book uh, you call num- can I give my number mm. so that they can be able to reach us? Mm. Okay, 0717 Okay, 0717 381 844 0717 381 844 So you can call, you can reach us, mm. you can get a copy of the book and you can engage us. Everybody who mm. calls us, we are able to send you more information uh, about the book, about the network and everything. Right. And it doesn't matter where we are, even if you're in the US, mm. we're using EMS to reach you. Okay. Okay. This is after follow all these steps, yes. now they're making the money. Yes. What's the best way you advise what to yes. to save their money? Yes, you have to save. Mm. And uh, even as you're saving, I know very well about our economy right now. Most people are living from hand to mouth. So, uh, just try, just try at least save something. And even mm. as you're saving, it's also about financial. So, when I save chini matches kwa bank, wana nunua stocks, what what is the best method of saving uh, your advice? We normally talk about 8 months. 8 mm. months uh, emergency fund. 8 mm. months emergency fund. And uh, <laughs> I know that when I say that many people smile because even one month <laughs> they put it in a in a in a in a so eight months emergency fund ni yeah, kusema unaweza lipa rent you, see, yeah, you can survive for eight months because today you lose your job <laughs> the economy 
so <laughs> you know it takes you even over a year so eight mm. months and uh when you save that money it's not a must you put all of it in a savings account that's mm. what i'm recommending you must know about plots <laughs> you must know about because if you put it in a savings account i'll tell you what happens because as we we have done it every month you say because you have a pay slip and every month you're getting the money so you put it and then you say ah no next month there's another salary coming in so mm. you know, by the end of the year you have saved zero so but when you put it in a in a in a plot somewhere or in stocks it's a bit hard yes. to get it and you know there's always problems nani ni mgonjwa i don't know mm. you know they, and this is your savings like if you lose your job today that is where you go back to mm. you know so it's a must you have to save uh eight months if possible eight, eight months. months yes eight months because if you lose your job today getting another one takes even long mm. yeah so eight months and when you're saving also think about investing and start small so i must you have to think those big things because i start small but then now you climb you change your lifestyle mm. as the things are going you know don't leave because i i've talked about classes of people here i've talked about the poor the middle class mm. and the rich and i'm telling you the rich or the wealthy the things they do Mm. and the poor, the, the the middle class are about comfort so all your money is going to what's that house that you know very well but you don't have any other middle class are about yes. comfort especially like yes. the, the way money is losing its value yes. so yes. my 8 months me yes. in my head e yes. 8 months yes. is from now 5 yes. years to come yes it's a whole different dynamic uh, and so how do you, do you do you keep increasing or changing or i'm only that's what i'm saying mm. you must also gain knowledge mm. as much as you can because the knowledge is giving you the power to take risks mm. you know and the courage because now money there's there's something we call uh deflation mm-hmm. yeah or inflation mm. so when you're saving your money <laughs> it's losing value mm-hmm. yeah Like the way we used to buy the bread that time is not the way you're yes. buying it now. So th- there's something called savers. Okay, I don't I don't want to say it right now until someone can read and to <laughs> understand and become a bit more advanced. Mm. But saving money in a bank account, wh- how much do you make? Yeah. Really. That is why you have to think outside the box and mm. know, okay, I'm here, I'm earning the money. It's me earning. Mm-hmm. But now I have eight months. And that eight months because you're still mm. saving more. So why are you emptying this money? think about real estate think about a business that is not very engaging if your job is very engaging uh, think about stocks you know think as like the box more than the, just the savings account because you know how much the saving account give you mm. honestly you can't work with that so yeah that is a financial literacy is very very important come to us mm. we are risk takers and we will teach you how to take mm. risks but yes. uh, you 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 <laughs> had a payslip to work with from the beginning yes, yes. and for someone who is a homemaker maybe her earn is it so what would you yes. suggest i suggest to them to get out There's nothing like staying home now. How do you, I'm a mother of two <laughs> and I have my husband who wants money. But I said you must match up. The reason I'm saying you must match up your husband salary. These kids are going maybe to a private how uh, a uh, school or something. Mm-hmm. You cannot say I, I told you my dad person was very young and I saw my mom picking up. So maybe because of that fear mm. I am out looking for money so my husband cannot pay rent or mm-hmm. anything but I count him as a bonus. If he's making money then we are moving faster. Mm-hmm. Any woman should come out. Any woman. I don't think it, even you know there's some who are told oh sit at home but my my dear it's very good when you're bringing your money mm. even if it's five shilling at least you're doing something. And mm-hmm. there's so many things to do and everybody has a smartphone. You know that what it makes me wonder is because everybody has a smartphone and what you're holding there is a market. You don't even have to leave the home. My son these books are going to Mombasa are going where and I'm here changing my son. <laughs> They were like twins they follow each other yeah twins so you hire you know what twins means you hire household tomorrow mm. they tell you I'm not coming <laughs> <laughs> and the business has to go on so there's nothing you know and if you want to develop your life mm. it's you it is not your husband it is not your anyone it is not your parents it's you as a person think about yourself where do you want to be where do you want to be mm. and you can and I say it, as a 21 year old start there start thinking about your life there Yeah, whether you're going to college, whether you're going anywhere, college is a bonus. As long as you've done up to high school, <laughs> college is a bonus because you know there's some parents who really don't yeah. have money to take you to college. Mm. I'm not if you have parents who have paid your university and everything, you're very lucky. Mm. But I'm just talking about those who are <laughs> like Kampaka high school I saw a lot. And when you're over 18 now, there's mm. <laughs> your, <laughs> your parents have no obligation. So youths, they have to start early. I was paying my bed sitter 19. 
So they have to come out. I yeah. don't believe this thing of staying at home. You have to come out and <laughs> empower yourself. There's so mm. many things to do, isn't it? Yes. Yes. All right. Thank yes. you, Sana Kuja. Yes. Once again, that was Lea Karimi. I'm going to social media. Thank you, Sana Lea Karimi. Yes, LinkedIn, Lea Karimi, Twitter, yes. Facebook, yes. Instagram. Yes. And also the book, Wanna Follow Your Pages to find out more details about yes. getting yes. the book. Yes, yes. And uh, just an addition, mm. I'd like to say that when you're on social media, uh, you don't have to start up there. Mm. For me, I, I say they come from the countryside, so I didn't even know about Facebook. Mm. But then once I knew, and I knew the power, I kept going. Some people who are saying, um, 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 I can go to Gikomba, I can get this clothes, mm. but who do I sell to? Mm. Start with one person. Tomorrow there are two. The other day there are thousands. Mm. The other day there are millions. My friend, you have a whole market and making a lot of money. Mm. So... There's no option. Actually, all right. And there's no option. Hakuna. We all have to succeed. Yes. And we're going to talk about short commercial break, but we're going to start And that was our amazing guest, Leah Karimi. Stay tuned in KTN Ladies Night on BTV.